bloody mozzies. If it's not flies during the day, it's mosquitoes at night. One of the best things about living where I do is that there's virtually no light pollution. I get a little bit of light pollution around the moon and it's cycled, but there's no light pollution as far as towns and stuff go. So I can see here, and most people in Australia, once you move away from the cities, you can see a lot of the night sky. So imagine what it was like here before there was towns and cities and lights and all that sort of business. The traditional landholders of Australia, they used to navigate with the stars and I'll show you a couple of things here. Let me explain what I'm doing here. I've got here the Pixel 6. The moon is almost half full, so there's a fair bit of light pollution, and I can tell you now, in all the phones that I've tried here on this channel, the Pixel 6, although it was a bit of a disappointment to me um, from what I expected, it was more or less expectations versus delivery, but the Pixel 6, the Pixel series is still uh, the best phone to take photos of the stars with light pollution, in my humble opinion. So we're going to use the Pixel 6 because we've got that going on with the moon. And what I wanted to show you here tonight are two things. One is the emu and one is the three brothers. And you'll know them by different wording, but the Aboriginal folks, they use these things for, for navigation, for finding when food is coming into season and so forth. When the emu would be at a certain point, they'd go, well, it's time to go collect the emu eggs because the emu is now sitting down or now the emu has the eggs. So that might sound a little bit foreign and weird to you guys, but let me explain. First, what I need to do is actually take a photo of the Milky Way. Now, I've shown you how to do that before. Um, we'll look at the Southern Cross. The Southern Cross is up here. It's got the two pointers. It's got the Southern Cross. Um, and just for a little bit of a navigation lesson for you guys, if you draw a line perpendicular between the two pointers, that's those two bright stars, and then draw a line down directly through the top and tail of the Southern Cross where those lines intersect, drop it straight to the horizon, and that's where South is all the time, all the time. I'll set up the pixel for a astro shot. I'll just go to night sight and hit astro, wait for it to turn to astro, hit the button and we're good to go. We're gonna leave that now for four minutes and 16 seconds. It's gonna take a series of 16 long second photos, put them all together, line them all up and it'll give us a pretty bloody good photo of the stars. And like I said before, because we've got a little bit of light pollution going on here, um, well, it's going to capture it pretty well. And once we've captured it, I'm going to show you where the emu is. Now, while we're waiting for that to take uh, that photo, it's four minutes and 16 seconds long. If you're on Facebook, we've got a really good community here with Facebook. I'll link it down the bottom here. Jump in there, answer the questions, and come and join us and show us sort of the photos that you're taking with your mobile phones. If you are into this sort of photography, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I do two videos each and every week all about small sensor photography, usually in low light, usually about this sort of stuff. So if you want to know how to take these sort of photos and learn a little bit about the night sky that we have here down under, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and you also will be a bloody legend. So there you have it, it's a pretty bloody good photo. A bit of light pollution. If there was no light pollution, it would be a lot more contrasted photo. Let me just edit this up. Now that it's edited, we can see it pretty clearly. Um, you can see this not quite as gaseous with the naked eye, with those gaseous clouds through it with the naked eye, but at certain times of the year, in fact right now, um, I can see that band of stars because we've got no light pollution. So that's some expectations for you. You're not going to see this in the city. Now up there where the Southern Cross is, just below the Southern Cross is where the head of the emu is. And if you move down further, you'll see the neck uh, and then the body. And at different times of the year, this is going to do different things because this is all moving through the sky at different times of the year. When you've seen my planning videos about how to plan astrophotography videos, um, you'll see there that this galactic core moves through the sky at different times of the year. And they would use this at for saying when the emu was laying down, well, it's time to go out and hunt for the emu eggs. And, and this is uh, um, time between April, I think, and June, something like about that. But these guys would use this to navigate, to look at their seasonal food. Well, it's pretty bloody clever in my opinion. There's more to that story, obviously. Um, what I'll do, I'll link down the bottom here to some resources there if you want to read more about this emu and you can learn that sort of stuff for yourself. What I'll show you otherwise is what's called the Three Brothers. Now to capture the Three Brothers, what we're looking for, for those of you who do astrophotography generally, you're looking for Orion and Orion's belt, those three stars lined up, they are the Three Brothers. I'm going to take the same photo here with the pixel and I'll come back and I'll show you the Three Brothers when they basically they're sitting in a canoe. 
I've done the same thing here with Orion with the Astro mode on the Pixel 6 and we're going to need to edit this one a little bit as well to see uh, what these stars are doing and now you can see the three stars there, Orion's belt, if you imagine a canoe around those uh, three stars, there's three brothers sitting side by side in this canoe um, and there's more to that story as well, I'll link it down the bottom and you can go and read all those resources just for yourself. Ripper phone for doing this sort of thing, the, Mo, uh, the Pixel 6 is a fantastic phone for doing this sort of photography when there's a little bit of light pollution like I've got here at the moment with the moon. Anyway guys, that's it for today, catch you later.